Well, we're finally done with the modular buildings. That's it, I've covered all of them, and until January next year, you are free of modular buildings. Today, we're gonna be covering the mini modular buildings. <laughs> But don't worry, all five of these came in one set. This is all the first five modular buildings as one original set. This is uh, set number 10230. Mini modular, £60 when it came out. Now you're going to be paying around 100 to get a hold of it. The piece count. See how small this little set is? What do you think the piece count of this small set is? I mean, you can see the actual modules behind you. Have a guess. I'm genuinely waiting. No, you're wrong. It's 1,356 pieces. Because so many of the pieces are just tiny individual ones, it's thousands of pieces. What, a thousand pieces? Well, a thousand and then an extra bit. A thousand with the remainder pieces. Anyway, it's it's stunning. It's absolutely beautiful. I'll do a bit of a comparison later on, but we'll look at them as their own individual models. Because, ah, they're modular buildings. They come apart and you can put them in any order you want. Which is rather marvellous. Let's just funkle these together out. Ooh, delightful. And we'll just go from left to right. Fuck it. Might as well. Starting first, we've got the department store. Literally every detail is here except for the revolving door, I think. I think that's the only thing missing. They've even got, I love that they've got a the little uh, painty, cleany wagon. What are these called? Cleaning wagon. Yes, they're called something on Gang Beasts. I should probably use that word, but I can't remember what it is. Pretty, very pretty. I love the redoing of the, the thingy on top, which normally has the face and the present. I think the present's at a different angle. Ah, I can't twist it stays that way forever. Uh, it's, it's all been craggled. Everything I have is craggled. Round the back, there's not very much. They've got the little uh, door and the light, a very fat light there. But it's um, it's rather lovely down that one. I like that. Uh, we start with crap one. Now, I did the video on this and a lot of people point out that this actually wasn't designed by Lego, this set. This was actually like a fan design that they picked. It was like, this is going to be the best fan. Hey Lego, never do that again. Anyway, uh, this is actually, I kind of prefer this version because it looks, because it, it's chunky in this. It looks less um, anemic than the one you actually get. It's got the little market square bit. Now this doesn't come apart, but it is, um, it's, nice it's even got the awning with a little bit of seating under there. I think it's very nicely done and a very nothingy back, just like the real one, which also to be perfectly honest has a nothingy front. The stairs are nicely done. There's no like windows and stuff at the bottom. Um, I love the side design. You can see there it's actually built with a snot. Is it snot? Studs not on top. Snot. It's the type of type of design. Doesn't matter. You go over there. The firehouse. Da, 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 da. That's just beautiful. That's so. That's just perfect. It's just. I mean, the fire. I can see the firehouse right there. I'm just looking back and forth. They, they've got like the little helmets represented there. They've got the door in there. That it's it's beautiful. They've even got the little blue light on top of the letterbox that's outside and the bell That is just beautiful on the back. See this one's got a beautiful back with it as well With the old double doors that will open and let your fire thing out and it'll flicked over. I like you can see all the way through it as well Oh, hello. What's that? Say? Oh, it's what is that bit? Oh, it's the it's the flag. Miniature American flags for some Portion for the rest or something whatever that Simpsons joke was Woo! Over here we've got the green grocer! With way less green bricks. And what's really good about this set is because you have probably have, if you've got as many sets as I do, or a fair few, you'll be getting a lot of spare little tiny bits. So it's quite easy. This is quite an easy set to uh, build yourself if you can just get the instructions online, which you will. I always link the Brickling stuff. There's that disaster of a, a set of stairs. <laughs> just basically some arms holding each other. Which is very nicely done. I like the little walk uh, through way they've got there. I really wish, because this is only the first five, we've got, they could do another set of these and do like the next five. I'd be very happy with that. And the best of them all, this is the, easily the best one, the beautiful hotel. A sticker there to cover up the hotel thing. No sticker on the back with it the other way around, therefore this is better. Um, but the, just the window design, the, the side, a lot of side building in these things. The, this, the tower, the, it, it just every single bit of this just breathes the detail that it has. Back's crap, same as it is in the real one. And no interior, same as it is in the real one. But that is just, that's just beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Anyway, let's do a quick sort of comparison, probably with music or something.
And there we go. I'm assuming that that's going to be a lovely little montage bit, music, lots of shots, lovely. Um, but while filming it, a storm rolled in and my nose started bleeding. So, um, it's got a little dark over it. Maybe, maybe I'm finally in contact with the dark beings that I've been trying to get a hold of for so long. Willing to trade a human soul for the next five, by the way, if anyone's listening. Not my human soul, of course. Uh, Piers Morgan's happily trade his soul in for anything. I'm just, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Piers Morgan doesn't have a soul.